Sorry, buddy. Don't hurt yourself. And there he goes again. Check that guy out. Amazing, ladies and gentlemen. Why is he doing that? I mean, it, it, does water have like a, um, a sort of poison effect on him? Because I thought it was just, he's just damaged when he's in the water. So he's in the, in the water, he'll teleport, and then he'll teleport out of the water and be fine. But no, this guy just has to... Uh, no idea. Okay, well, it's starting to get light. Um, I think I'm just going to gather some wood, cook some fishies. Shit. Don't do it. No. Alright, I, I gotta rescue this little guy. A bigger one just jumped off the edge, and I don't exactly feel like watching this one go the same way. There we go. Oh, we got a creeper too. Wonderful. Oh, don't, don't, oh. Well, that's okay. Okay, alright guys. Come along. We're gonna kill a skelly today. That is our plan. Alright, so, um... Basically the goal today is explore this island and try and find some spiders so I might be able to make a bed. And this thing's just staring at me looking cool, so I'm gonna have to go there eventually. Um, first things first, we need a bed. So that we can set it today whenever we feel like, so that we can set our spawn points. We don't have to go traipsing around oh rain. Lovely. We don't have to go traipsing around islands every time. Um <clears throat> every time we die. Uh, why did it stop? I thought I turned it on. Okay, so I have no idea what's going on with that. Um The rain just I guess the rain just turns off automatically for some reason. It's not an Optifine thing. I know you can set rain off on Optifine, or rain and snow off, but they're both just, they're both on at this point, so I don't know what's going on. Um, so this island appears to be pretty simple. I can't look under it quite yet. What I can do is just sort of um, extrapolate what this stuff under here might look like from what I could see from the other side. And that is, basically it's just mostly round um, kind of, this is interesting, what's under here, mostly round, kind of a uniform depth, not necessarily uniform thickness, like this here I'm guessing is hiding a network of caves or something that goes through this mountainside, it's not really a mountain, it's more of a hill, this hillside. And there's something going on with that waterfall. I'm pretty sure that's just a um, wacky texture. I'm not, I doubt that's anything interesting. But, yeah, just a wacky texture. Okay, um, so it's not likely to be very extensive underground, as far as I can tell. I mean, it's not like, it's not like, where'd it go? Oh, that's nice. Well, no caves inside that island. It's not like the one over here, which has temporarily vanished. <clears throat> Where it's super thick and full of caves and... Okay, I shouldn't be looking at that. Where it's super thick and full of caves and stuff. This one should be... Most of the stuff on this one, I think, is going to be on the surface. So basically, not much left to explore here. We didn't find any sheep. And by sheep, I mean spiders... So, still no bed. I think I am going to... Did I finish the bridge? I did finish the bridge. So I made a little bridge up to here. And this just leads back to the um, the dirt island over here. So what I'm going to do is go over here. I'm going to grab my stuff. And I think at that point we can go farming. Yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. 
<laughs> oh man, it is so on. It is just yes. Okay, don't need you anymore. Don't need you anymore. I got my bones. I got my potatoes. I got my dirt. You know what? Let's just make it right here. Potato farm, right here. Do I sell the hoe? I don't. I have to make a new hoe. Uh, sticks. Yeah, I do. What am I saying? Okay. Potato farm, right here. Right now. Right here. Right now. Right here. Right now. This might even be close enough to water to, um... Well, it's below water. I don't know if that counts. Whatever. Let's do it. Okay, so there was another thing I wanted to do. <clears throat> which was something else I think Zista would approve of. And let's see if I got the recipe right. I'm not sure I did. Yes, painting. And let's look at the paintings in this texture pack, because I don't actually know what they are. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so this is obviously not... This is a default painting. I don't know what it is exactly. Ooh, another default painting. Okay, so... Apparently the paintings are incomplete. As far as I can tell, this is the only other 32 boot painting. So let's put it right here. Nope. Oh, there's another one. What are you guys? No, it's not a 32 bit painting. It looks like cacti? I don't know. Okay, that is just weird. I have no idea what that was. Oh, that was, that was kind of pretty. I like that one. If I get it again, I'll, I'll probably leave it there. Just give me a good painting. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Spider. Got a spider in that painting. Um, pick it up. Thank you. Where did... What the... F Okay, um, you know what, I'm just gonna leave it as that. That's, that's pretty cool looking, whatever it is. I should move it down though. Oh well, whatever. It's daytime and- Oh, jeez! You scared me! How many of you are there? I just killed two of you. Okay, now I'm kinda wishing I hadn't, um, made that painting, cause now I might- if I hadn't, I might actually now have enough silk to craft a bed. But, you know, whatever. Count your chickens. Or burn them. I don't, I don't really care. By the way, um... Did I see another one over there? <clears throat> Sorry about my voice, it's gone all funky. I have a frog in my throat. Or a slime, I guess. This is Minecraft, I'll call it a slime in my throat. You know, one of the little guys. Can you imagine them just sort of hopping in and like... Like, have you ever tried to swallow a cube of, um, finger jello? Like, the really dense stuff? You just put it into your mouth and just, like, swallow the thing whole? That's, that's, I, that's what I'd imagine it would feel like. Except it gets stuck there because, okay, 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 stop this, stop this. What are you talking about? Ah. Alright, everyone. Welcome back. Um, so for today, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, mainly because I don't remember what I did a couple days ago when I was recording. Um, this is probably going to be halfway through episode 4 about um, what kind of progress have I made so far. I've gotten potatoes. I farmed a bunch of potatoes down here. Um, I, put a, I just put a piece of dirt there and farmed potatoes. I didn't see much point in making a big long potato farm and just bone mealing that to hell, I just sort of... <laughs> I did the, the, the ghetto potato farm. The survival potato farm, I guess you could call it. 
but now that I have 50 potatoes, I can create a legitimate potato farm. I can eat this fish so I don't keep trying to eat my potatoes. Yeah, that's one thing I don't like about potatoes. You can eat the raw potatoes so that if you're trying to plant one, but you have anything, if your hunger bar is like down even half a tick, it'll, fuck, it'll sometimes resort to eating the potato instead of planting it. So, but I mean, that's just nitpicking, I guess. I do, I'd rather it stay like that and keep the way that you can, um, and keep the way that potatoes work, which is that the seed is the same as the plant, which is ironically how potatoes work in the real world. Um, yeah, who would have thought, right? Minecraft? Realistic? Not happening. Okay, so, in other news, this is one hell of a ladder, jeez. In other news that I leveled the top of that island so I can make a tree farm. So now we have wood forever, and I think as soon as I get enough potatoes to potatoes to cook, I'm going to assault that dungeon and maybe build a bigger house somewhere on this island, just out of wood. I like the way wood looks in this texture pack. Um, I think it's not just sort of a silly, silly looking building resource the way it is in some texture packs. Um, I think it. I, I just think it looks nice. Cobblestone too. I mean, most people don't like the way cobblestone looks me included in the default textures because it's well it's really ugly you don't want to build anything out of it you just want to leave it in boxes until you can craft it into stone and then build stuff out of that but in this texture pack cobblestone looks pretty good let's see if we can find any yeah yeah oh i had some in my box whatever so yeah we got some slime balls always essential we got some wood we got crafting tables we got some chests i'm going to put these up here right yeah, so that we have plenty of extra storage room. I'm going to put some of this stuff back because I don't need all of it. I don't need you, I don't need you, I don't need all that dirt. Um, what do I need? I need a sword and I need food. And a new pick. Alright, so, crafting table. Uh, two picks. Two swords. And obviously I don't have diamonds, so I can't enchant anything. Which isn't necessarily a problem, it's just kind of annoying. Because I'm used to having enchanted gear. Like, even in just vanilla Minecraft, I've gotten to the point where I have enough stuff to make enchanted gear. I have plenty of charcoal, so I can craft just about a stack of torches. And then, um... Shovel, always good. Always want to have a shovel. Um, dirt goes there, and what time is it? We got plenty of time. All right, let's do this. So I think I'm gonna go in. Well, hello. Oh shit! You know what? Yeah. <sighs> Sorry about that. Um, that wasn't very legitimate right there. I. Sincerely apologize, that will not happen again. I usually check it every time I log in. I guess I forgot to this time. So, okay. This cave leads to a nice, um, nice bout of nowhere. It does have skeleton spawners, so that's good. I like skeleton spawners. And let's find out where this other one is. It might be above me. Or it might be actually from this spawner over here. No, this is way too far away. Um, so there's another one. And now, I, I, I'm not just like assuming that whenever I see a monster it's going to be from a spawner. Um, I know it bothers a lot of people when an LPR does that. Um, but I know it's a spawner because they're spawning when I'm in the vicinity. Or when I'm in... I guess I'm in close range to them, which ordinarily you have this sort of field around you that's, I forget how many blocks large it is, but within that field it's like maybe 16 blocks, 32 blocks, something like that, but within a 16 block radius of you, monsters will not spawn no matter how dark it is or 
and see you don't have stuff like that happening. But if there's a spawner, that's ignored, so there must be a spawner here somewhere. And I... Is that a particle effect? ceiling somewhere. No, I'm guessing Zisto. Seriously? I'm guessing Zisto does the same thing Vex does, where he, um, he'll always put spawners, like, in a corner or something, so that you can see the particles leaching out through the, through the corner. Great. There's probably, like, So it appears I've been digging into the wrong wall, possibly, maybe, perhaps. I'm, I'm checking for particles right here. If you guys see them, which probably some of you do, for some reason I'm really bad at spotting this stuff. But yeah, one of you is destined to like be seeing it and be like, it's right there, it's right there, just, just just can't you see it? Are you blind? And I, I sincerely apologize. I'm actually am blind. I'm legally blind. I've I've been blind since I was since I was five, and you know it's it's difficult, but I, I make it through. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not blind, except in the figurative sense. Also, sorry to all the blind people who follow me. You know, I'd imagine those uh blind Minecraft playing YouTube watchers tend to get a lot of hate, so I apologize to you. Come on, where is this thing? I'm just gonna literally mine out this entire place trying to find it, I know I am. Um, I may cut some of this. I may just jump cut to where I find the spawner. Because this is frankly getting annoying. They just keep coming! And of course there's tons of stuff over there, so there's that. And now there's water here, and hopefully there'll be iron somewhere. But even if there isn't, um, this water is just gonna be... Come on, did, did you, did you, ah. Uh, didn't drop your boat. Okay, I'm just gonna light this whole area up and find it later. Because darkness is falling. Maybe it's in the waterfall. Yeah, get up there. Get up there. Stupid cow. Is that gonna stay? It is gonna stay. Not there. Okay, um... Whoa, whoa, whoa! That was annoying. Is there one up there? Is that what I just saw? No. It was something glitching, I guess, then. I turned the sound way down. I think it's at, like, 3 or something. Because I've been... Yeah, it's at 3. I've been noticing in my recent videos that I'm not speaking loud enough. I mean, I'm speaking pretty loud. But I guess my mic is not picking it up, which makes sense, because it's not designed for picking up just normal talking voices. It's designed for picking up music. It's a blue snowball mic, so yeah, this isn't really its best use at this point, but you know, it works. It's better than my little inline mic on my headphones, and yeah. So what I'm going to do is turn the volume on Minecraft way down, and then just boost the volume of the entire thing in um, my video editing program, which is the ugh, spiders. You know, I don't mind that you're attacking me. What I mind the fact is the fact that you're pushing me into reeds, which will waste the durability on my sword. It's not like I can't make five bajillion swords with the amount of coal we have on this island. Coal. Cobblestone we have on this island. But, um... I kind of, I don't like running through swords really fast. I don't know why. It's just a pet peeve of mine. I feel like if you have a sword, that should be like a weapon that you keep for a while. 
Like, you sort of get to know it. Like, I think it'd be really cool if each weapon had just sort of slightly randomized stats. Like, maybe a, like a quarter block more or less knockback. But if it has less knockback, it might have a bit more power or something like that. Just something to differentiate between the weapons so that... Ugh, spiders. So that you and your weapon sort of get this thing going. Yeah, yeah, just just go down there. Go down there. I don't I don't want to see you anymore. Blow up. I don't even care. You're in water. It shouldn't matter to me. Okay, so I got two wool. Um, that puts my wool stocks up to five. I would have nine if I hadn't made that stupid painting. Hmm. I mean, not that nine's enough to make a bed anyway, but it's a bit closer than five. Yeah, I really need a bed. Like, seriously. Potatoes? Did I cook all my potatoes? Okay, thank god. I was just like, oh no, what did I do? But no, I have some planted, so that's good. Um, Spider hunting? Spider hunter extraordinaire? That's me? Oh, I guess not. Hey! How did you die? Yeah, I've seen Endermen just like spazzing about all over the place on this island. They just like, I guess they fall in the water, and so they take damage and they teleport out, but then they keep taking damage even when they're on land, and they're just taking damage and teleporting all over the place, and bright red just flashing across the landscape. And it's kind of funny to watch, especially because they make that little honky noise, but I, um, I don't actually understand what's happening there, so... There's always another piece of wood, isn't there? You think you're done, but there's always one last piece hanging in a branch, waiting to make this big cluster of annoyance that you have to go in and deal with later. Um, how about any over here? Just an apple. Twee. Spider. Oh, wow. Oh, this guy's wearing gold. Check that out. Skelly in full gold. And that arrow literally just, I think it just bounced off my face. That was pretty cool. Another strategy is to um, always have an enemy in front of you. And the skellies behind you. Because then the skellies will shoot the guys in front of you. And aggro them onto the skelly. So that you have infighting. And that's kind of nice, except when it's a creeper. Or even when it's a creeper. Because then the creeper walks back straight into the horde of skeletons. And blows them all up for you. So that's kind of nice. Might as well harvest this. I don't know what I'm going to do with reeds. Alright, dick. Come get some. Come get some of me and my potato. Where are you? There you are. Oh, jeez. I'm not doing so well. I'm going to retreat. Tactical retreat. Fall back. Remove yourself from the situation. Check out this guy. He doesn't look too happy. Dude, you got... You are on fire! Is it raining? Yeah, the rain in my um in my game has just messed itself up. I don't know why. I might it might be because I turned it off once with Optifine. But I've turned it back on. Or I've turned it off once with something. And I'm pretty sure I turned it back on, but now it just like it does the starting animation. Like the animation of the rain sort of picking up, but then it just fades out. And it's still raining because lightning happens. But uh, I don't know. It's weird. I should probably fix that, but honestly, I can't see any reason why not having rain would give me an advantage on this map. I mean, because I'm pretty sure all the effects of rain are still there. I'm pretty sure it still puts flaming enemies out. It still does all that stuff. There's still lightning, so you can still have charged creepers. So yeah, I see no disadvantage here, or no advantage here, no unfair advantage here. And it's not like this map has rules, so, you know. Is that coal I saw? That's gravel. Okay, but there's definitely something in that big old orb of... Orb of stony... stoniness. Die! Die! Ugh! No! Bad! And I spawned on top of a tree again. Look at this. Okay, um... Whee! I love doing that. I just, I just really love it. And... 
Okay, I was I was doing so good too. No deaths last episode. No deaths in the first part of this episode. Ah. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is farm some trees, get some wood, smelt some sand into glass. And next episode, we'll do a little house montage. This will be my first sort of, my first major construction project in Minecraft. I mean, I've done construction projects before, but nothing, like, nothing's Estonian, I guess. Nothing that's just sort of based on the aesthetic of it, rather than the, um, the functionality of it. So this is going to be my first project of this nature. And it might be horribly boring, in which case I'll cut most of it, but I think it I think it'll be pretty interesting. I really do. Um I like watching people build as long as I don't have to watch all the tedious like six hours of block placement that they have to do, all that stuff. So we'll see how this goes. Um until then. This episode was kind of disappointing, I guess. I went into that cave that wasn't actually a cave because it didn't have anything in it. And Frankly, I'm not sure there's anything on that side either, except a little hole like this for monsters to spawn in. I might do some digging into it later, and just hit record if I find anything that looks remotely interesting. Yeah, see, this is just a dark ledge. So I might do that, but until then, I'm going to leave it. And that's it. I will see you guys next episode. Bye.